What do you enjoy most about playing Ray Abruzzo? I, I like Ray's unpredictability. I, I like um, I like that Ray is kind of a uh, a bit of a tornado. He's a bit of a mess. He's obsessive, um, and you know Ray, Ray's got some redeeming qualities and some not so redeeming qualities. And was it was it challenging for you to go deeper into his feelings, his emotions, and his psychology this second season? I I love it. I mean, it was uh, the the second season was a dream come true as an actor. You know, Rebecca Cutter just wrote a a a, 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 a genius sprawling second season, and and uh, all of us, all the characters, had so much to do at different points. It's um, it's just it's just a gift to be able to work on good material. And how do you enjoy playing the role of, of a detective? Is it a role that suits you? You know, you know, it's funny. I um, I have more fun playing a, a a fired detective than I do an active detective. You know, I it was a running joke on set. I would be like, "Hey, Rebecca, Ray doesn't Ray doesn't come back on the police force. Just let him uh, keep going on his own." Now we've seen many crime stories on TV. Many of them have depicted drugs and opioids. And uh, with its first season, High Town was very successful. So what do you think makes you different and special from other shows? What's your mystique? I, I you know, I can't speak to other shows. I just speak to like what, what we're trying to do. Um, th there's a lot of people involved in the show who have um, a personal stake and like we want to get it right it's uh it's the opioid epidemic is um has hit hard here in the united states and it's uh uh a subject matter we want to treat carefully and and do it the right way but also just addiction as a whole you know as as we're playing with different forms of it and you could you could make an argument that every character in the show has a has a different addiction and uh or a, dif a different hole they're trying to fill in different ways so um uh you know we we uh we just stick to what we know how to do and try to do it with uh integrity and and bravery now as you said the the opioid epidemic in the us is a public health issue very pressing uh, we've also seen how during the first lockdown the cases of addiction actually increased so also in light of the show, how do you see this issue being handled today? I, you bring up a really good point, like how what what has happened during the uh, the pandemic. You know what what has happened when when people are forced inside, and you know there's a real mental health com component to all this, and and um, uh, addiction issues have, have skyrocketed. Uh, um, you know, also you know domestic violence. It, it's you know, in the pandemic, when when you're locked down, you're removing all these outside distractions that we use to kind of keep going in some ways. Yeah. You're forced to look at the truth because this is what you have. And, um, you know, um, I, I, I get it. I get why you see a lot of cases of people actually retreating more into themselves. What do you hope to see in a race future? Oh, I, I, um, my, it, Rebecca Cutter just gives me these gifts of, of, of material, these chunks, these, these meaty chunks. And that's just all I ask for. Like, keep, keep pushing Ray into a risky direction. You know, um, I'm an actor. I like to be used, you know? Um, so we'll, we'll see what's up with Ray. Ray's, uh, We've always kind of talked about Ray as, as an individual who's burning inside. And uh, we'll see how long he can keep that up. Can I ask you who your favorite actors are? Maybe someone who inspires you in your work? Oh, wow, wow. That's a good question. I mean, I, I grew up, I grew up watching a lot of Paul Newman. My mother was a big Paul Newman fan. So I'd watch, I'd watch uh, uh, Paul. But my mother was an actress also, you know, and, and, so was my father. My father went to directing choreography. But what, what I want to say about my mother was that she was she was risky. You know, there was the version of my mother that was the woman I knew at home. And then she would get on stage and she would be someone completely different. And no one knew how shy she was in real life. And then she would get on stage and it would just be this powerful. She was a musical theater actress. She was just a powerful woman. And so 
I've always kind of gravitated towards people who are just doing like big, powerful work, you know, and uh, uh, I like people who take risks, you know, um, there's a lot of, a lot of great actors out there that I, I just, uh, I cheer for, you know, there's a whole New York crew that, um, you know, you look at Sam Rockwell, Michael Shannon, you know, uh, uh, Paul Sparks, Michael Chernus. I, I grew up, I came up watching those guys, Dallas Roberts, you know, um, those guys are kind of my heroes in the New York crew. Thank <laughs> you.